All right, guys, CRNAs deliver care when and wherever needed. So it's about time that they're recognized and properly immersed for the work that they do. We're getting a lesson on what it really means from our sponsors at the American Association of Nurse Anesthesiology. Certified registered nurse anesthetists are involved in every aspect of anesthesia in all types of settings, especially in rural areas. Yet for many years, CRNAs have received reduced reimbursement rates from insurance plans compared to other anesthesia providers for giving the same types of services. Angie Mund, president of the American Association of Nurse Anesthesiology, and Tracy Paul Young, regional director of AANA and CEO of YPS Anesthesia, join me now. I think the important thing with that is number one is uh, CRNAs provide primarily the rural health care. They're the sole provider often in those communities. And when reimbursement rates are cut, the hospitals who have a tight financial margin anyway are at much greater risk of closing or reducing services. CRNAs administer 50 million anesthetics per year in the United States. So if there's a cut in reimbursement, even if it's only 10, 15 percent, that can have a large ripple effect across hospitals and communities all across the country. Many hospitals will operate at sometimes a one or two, three percent profit margin at best in good years. And what we're seeing post COVID is many hospitals are struggling financially. But when reimbursement is cut for anesthesia services, especially for CRNA services, hospitals have to make up that difference somewhere. Go to access to care dot a a and a dot com yes no reason our healthcare workers should want for anything let's get them immersed properly thank you to our sponsors at american association of nurse anesthesiology